Many people come to the Freedom Center to learn more about the history of slavery in the United States. You will learn that when you visit here. But we also tell our guests that the enslavement of people did not end in this country or in the world with the conclusion of our Civil War. Indeed, by most estimates, there are actually more people in some form of slavery in the world today than at any time in history. Kevin Bales estimates that today over 27 million people live in slavery across the globe. Let me be clear, I'm talking about real slavery. This is not about working in sweatshops or being paid a very low wage. This is slavery, in many ways the same as the slavery of ancient Egypt or Alabama in 1850. Urge me not to use moderation in a cause like the present. I am in earnest. I will not equivocate. I will not excuse. I will not retreat a single inch and I will be heard. The slavery that existed in the United States from the earliest days of the colonies through to the end of the Civil War and the passage of the 13th Amendment was called chattel slavery, in which individuals were bought, sold, and owned as property. In other words, people had legal title to other people, just like you would own a car or a house. And the people in this country who were bought and sold into slavery were mostly from Africa, where they were kidnapped and sent across the Atlantic Ocean against their will. And more often than not, their descendants were then born into slavery. After a huge bloody civil war to settle the question of whether this kind of slavery is going to exist by law in this country, chattel slavery was abolished through the passage of the 13th Amendment to the Constitution. One of the stories we tell at the Freedom Center is of those courageous individuals that made up the Underground Railroad. In the period immediately preceding the Civil War, a secret network of abolitionists, free blacks, and others banded together to help slaves flee the slave states and escape to freedom, most often to Canada, but also into northern states like Ohio that had outlawed slavery. Follow the drinking god. Follow the drinking god. For the old man is coming just to carry the freedom. Follow the drinking There's a new underground network today that also operates in secret to move people between states and countries. But in this case, it exists to move people into slavery. Today, we call this human trafficking, in which people, most often women and children, are moved around the world from one country to another for the purposes of forcing them into prostitution or other forms of forced agricultural, industrial, and domestic labor. Whether at the beginning or closer to the end, the journey on this network ends up being against the person's will, and there is little chance of escape. Unlike the Underground Railroad, which shines in history as a symbol of freedom, this organized criminal enterprise has created an underground network that is instead a symbol of oppression. I expose slavery in this country because to expose it is to kill it. Slavery is one of those monsters of darkness to whom the light of truth is death. The watchman of the free responds in this trial. At the Freedom Center, we are studying the connections and the differences between historic chattel slavery and contemporary slavery. People often assume that slavery ended when it was legally abolished here and elsewhere. What ended then was legally sanctioned chattel slavery in which ownership of individuals was recognized and protected by law. Individual human beings are still bought, sold, and forced into labor against their will today 
but no law recognizes these exchanges, which take place on a criminal's black market. These individuals, these human beings, sold on this market are simply discarded when their labor is exhausted, just like you would throw away a pen when the ink is dry. This is a modern slavery that traps an estimated 27 million people around the world today. We are addressing the issue of contemporary slavery with an exhibit called Invisible, Slavery Today. As far as we understand, it's the first permanent museum quality exhibit in the world, focused on raising awareness of the scourge of modern slavery. We are shining a light on this contemporary moral calamity by connecting it directly to the historic forms of slavery we all grew up learning about in this country. In doing so, we hope to educate people to the reality that slavery exists today and inspire them to take action themselves to end it, just as those courageous souls who operate the Underground Railroad did over 150 years ago.